Let's talk about my favorite champion in this game, Mole Man. I don't know where to begin. I just, I love this character so much. He is by far my favorite champion in this game, and I can't really explain why. Well, let's think about it for a bit. First of all, gameplay wise, the animations are fantastic. Mole Man and Giganto Jr. are just a super good pairing and they make for some really awesome animations. Second of all, the backstory behind Mole Man is so sad. Like the motion comic, if you haven't seen it, is just so, so sad, man. I feel so bad for Mole Man. And then Giganto Jr. is just there to help him out. And it's just such a beautiful thing. So I love the backstory. I love the gameplay. And I love how powerful this champion is. Mole Man is still by far one of the most underrated champions in this game. He is a powerhouse and a half. The damage output is just absurd. The utility is still super, super good. And he just works so well for so many fights. So Mole Man just really, he just is my favorite. Just no doubt about it. I'll always love this champion. He'll always be my favorite no matter what. And today, I have now proven that because he is my first ever six star ascended champion. So let's think about the decision here. Was it a good idea to ascend Mole Man? Well, honestly, I think it was. Mole Man is a burst champion, right? So getting those increased stats is a massive help. And additionally, Kabam loves to place him on pretty much every defense tactic. So having all that health is just a massive benefit for him in Alliance War. And in Battlegrounds, having that health makes him a much better defender as like a time stall. And also, he is my favorite champion in this game. So having my favorite champion as my top champion now is just the best, man. It is such a nice thing. So this Ascension was honestly my best pick possible. I couldn't have done a better champion here. I know there is, of course, better characters overall, like Hercules or something, but Mole Man was the best for my account. And I am just super happy about it, man. So let's talk about Mole Man for a second here. I still think he's super underrated. I still think he has so much use in this game. I don't think he's going to ever be a bad champion. He will always just be an absolute burst monster. And at the rank 5 ascended level, we'll just be unreal, right? But another thing is, will Mole Man ever be a 7 star? So right now he isn't one currently, but will that change soon enough? I don't know for sure. But here's the thing, Mole Man at Mag Sig is honestly a monster. And you're going to see later on in this video that Mag Sig Mole Man is one of the best damage dealers in the game flat out. It is honestly just insane. So let's check out some gameplay now, and look at those stats, man. 64,000 health, a ton of attack rating, and 30,000 PI for this mole man. You'll love to see it. He is by far the highest PI on my roster, so he is now my top champion. So this is just amazing. Um, here, you know how mole man works. Get frenzy, do a ton of damage, and just burst down the opponent in a pretty fast amount of time. So here I dropped the SP2, and that damage is just so spicy. 33,000 on that last hit, you'll love to see it. And there we just tank the hit, because why not? Mole Man, at rank 5 ascendant level, can just tank so many hits, man. He does not care whatsoever. And here we drop the relic, we go back in. Drop a 17,000 heavy attack into a combo, and yeah, this fight is now pretty much over after this SP2, which does about 34,000 damage there. Pretty sweet stuff, man. Like 47 seconds, not too shabby at all. And now let's check out some Labyrinth of Legends. 
Now check out that increased crit damage rating and that increased attack rating when he's at low health. That plays a major part in some matchups for sure, and that's why if I get the 7 star Mole Man, I won't be mad about ascending my 6 star because he still has a lot more value in some certain matchups and like in questing as well. Additionally, in like Alliance War, if I take a ton of hits, then the signature ability just comes in the clutch for sure. And check out this damage, man. 40,000 heavy attacks, like 11,000 mediums as well. We are just doing so much burst damage here, and he is just melting. So we dropped the SP2, and 38,000 there, because why not? And then we hit the damage cap, because why not? Mole Man just has so much damage output, it is honestly silly. And this fight is going pretty well so far, pretty fast too, so there's that. Uh, here we drop the SP2 again, and 42,000 damage that time, and then once again the damage cap. That's just, that's just hilarious, man. He just hits the damage cap, just like that. This is just the power of Ascendable, man. It's honestly so, so wild. Um, right there, 34,000 heavy attack, another massive combo here, and he is almost down now. Maybe one SP2 will do it, let's see. We get the Insolvable active after this to drop the SP2. And yeah, 17,000 mediums, 41,000 damage there, 50,000 again, and he just melts with the bleeds. And that was a minute and 22 seconds. Not too shabby given that he is a burst champion and this is not his ideal matchup. Just so, so good. And last but not least, we have Gauntlet Doom. So in this fight, you'll see that the signature ability comes into play a lot. Like the more health we lose, the more damage output we do, and this is just a massive help for this fight. Now, Dr. Doom, of course, is pretty annoying, right? But Mole Man is a great counter to him because he is shock immune, and yeah, pretty simple overall. So check this out. We lose our health, right? And like I said, you kind of want that at times because the damage output really makes up for the health loss. And check out this SP2 right here, 26,000 damage, there he fails to crit because Dr. Doom has crit res, super annoying but it's whatever. And like right there, 9,000 mediums, looking pretty good so far man. And here I drop a combo into a relic stun and then I drop a heavy attack afterwards and it just works out pretty perfectly because I go in again, drop the SP2, 30,000 damage that time, fail that crit, and then 40,000 damage once again. Not too shabby in the slightest. And yeah, he is pretty much down now. And that was really fast, man. That was like a minute and five seconds. That is super, super solid for Dr. Doom. So yeah, Ascendable Man is honestly just a monster. Such a strong champion and my personal favorite character in this game. So massive love to Mole Man. Let me know your thoughts on this ascension. Was it unexpected? Probably not because I am really vocal about my love for Mole Man. And yeah, that's about it for me.